kids are still listening to the radio. If you look at the research that's being done, radio is still being listened to. It's still an important factor. The problem is the owners don't think so. That's the problem. I mean, I was in L.A. Uh, driving up to Modesto, California to do an interview with a guy that had worked with the Beatles. And I can't remember what year it was. It was, uh, it was the day that Columbia broke up over California, Texas, and, and all that. I can't remember what year. And I, was, I didn't know anything about it. And I just happened to be listening to all these radio stations. And they were all in, it was a weekend. It was a Saturday morning. They were listening. They were playing their normal music. The announcers would come out and say, that was a, and then I just happened to flip over to a news talk station. And they were talking about the Columbia, the shuttle breaking up all over the the southern U.S. and I flipped back to the other stations. They're still playing that same music because they were on autom automated. They weren't, you couldn't get in there and get it done and that's part of the problem. The, the owners, a lot of the owners, there are some good owners out there, but a lot of the owners think cheaper is better and cheaper is crappier. And they got it, they have to open the purse strings a little bit and I think some owners have realized that maybe they cut too deep in the purse strings and hopefully it's, it's going to open up again but there is you know radio will evolve like it did when uh, television came along and they said oh radio's dead because Jack Benny and Bob Hope and Bing Crosby and all those people that had radio shows jumped to TV well radio reinvented itself as a top 40 and then it reinvented itself as niche as talk radio as sports radio as hip-hop as, as jamming oldies as this as that it keeps reinventing itself that's not going anywhere. Maybe AM's going somewhere down the tubes, but FM is still around for a long time to come.